Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren from the blog laurennicolejones.com and this week I'm gonna be taking you along for our dinner meals that I'm making. So, I hope you guys enjoy this different style of video. On my podcast, The Simple Life Project podcast, I talk a lot about what I'm making for dinner and so I thought it'd be a perfect idea to bring it all to life and take you guys along for the ride. So let's get started. For the first day, I made a pasta primavera with salad. I didn't have a lot of meat on hand and I actually forgot to lay it out, so I just decided to saute a bunch of veggies that I had up and do a light lemon sauce with garlic and a al dente pasta. And it turned out to be super delicious and the whole family really enjoyed it. On day two, I did a barbecue rib, corn on the cob, and einkorn skillet cornbread. I usually don't do two different forms of corn in the same meal, but we had like six ears of corns to get through and I had to make them that night. So otherwise, we would have done a veggie of some sort that was green, but we did cornbread and corn. And it was so delicious. We had a really, really good barbecue sauce that I make homemade from scratch. Uh, if you are interested in that video, I will leave it above for you to check it out. But it just made it so sweet and tangy and the cornbread was perfectly done in the skillet with honey on top and butter and it was just a really, really good meal that everyone enjoyed. For the third day, I did a risotto with chicken and veggies. I think risotto is super easy. It is just an arborio rice, 
a little onion or shallot, whatever you have on hand, chicken broth, olive oil, a little white wine, Parmesan cheese, and some salt and pepper. I like to add chicken to it. I had a rotisserie chicken I needed to eat, so we definitely cut that up. And I cut up some veggies, and it was a meal for us as well as another family. So it does go a long way in the food department. On day four, I did a really easy quinoa bowl with a garlic tahini sauce topped with a balsamic drizzle. It was so delicious because it was just fresh veggies, a lot of really light ingredients, and it had a protein with the quinoa, and it had just a lot of flavor with that garlic tahini sauce. And I love making this dish too because it serves as a great leftover for lunch the next day and we all enjoyed lunch the next day. It was just a nice thing to have on hand that was light and filling and good for you. On day six, I did a sourdough skillet. I had a really, really hard time finding veggies because I had used them all throughout the week. And so I used what I had, which was basically just green beans and sweet corn. You can add really anything you want to a sourdough skillet. You can add any kind of veggies, you can add any kind of meat. All I had on hand was ground beef and a few frozen veggies. So that's what I used. Toward the end of the week, this is really typical for us. We just kind of use what we have on hand and go with it. And it ended up being a really good meal. Sourdough skillet is one of those things that is so versatile and it's kind of like a tamale, but it's with as many ingredients as you like and it's very customizable to what you like to eat. I love adding oregano or Italian seasoning to my sourdough bread topping because it just gives it a lot of flavor. And I also love adding a lot of cheese on top because it gives it a nice crunch after it's baked in the oven.
If you are new to my channel, as always, feel free to like and subscribe. I release a new video every week on motherhood, food from scratch, and simple living. See you next week.